Normandy commemorates D-Day with small crowds, but a big heart Colville sur mer, France, app, when the sun ascends over Omaha Beach, uncovering tremendous stretches of wet sand reaching out toward far-off bluffs, one begins to get a handle on the massiveness of the assignment looked by Allied officers on June 6, 1944, arriving on the Nazi-involved Normandy shore. A few services were being held. Sunday to remember the 77th commemoration of the unequivocal attack that prompted the freedom of France and Western Europe from Nazi control, and honor the individuals who fell. These are the ones who empowered freedom to recover attraction on the European landmass, and who in the days and weeks that followed lifted the shackles of oppression, hedgerow by Normandy hedgerow, mile by wicked mile, Britain's representative to France, Lord Edward Llewellyn said at the introduction of another British landmark to D-Day's Saints. On D-Day, in excess of 150,000 Allied soldiers arrived on the seashore's codenamed Omaha, Utah, Juno, Sword and Gold, conveyed by 7,000 boats. This year on June 6, the seashores stood huge and almost unfilled as the sun arose, precisely a long time since the first, light attack. Covid limitations again keep veterans, families from going to services for the second year straight, commemoration recognitions are set apart by infection travel limitations that forestalled veterans or groups of fallen troopers from the US, Britain, Canada and other allied nations from making the outing to France. A couple of authorities were permitted special cases. At the UK, function close to the town of Versailles. Bagpipes played commemoration tunes and warplanes zipped overhead following red wine and blue smoke. Socially removed members felt overwhelmed at the gravity and serenity of the site, giving a staggering and piercing perspective over Gold Beach and the English Channel. The new landmark honors those under British order who passed on D-Day and during the Battle of Normandy. Guests remain to salute the in excess of 22,000 people, generally British officers, whose names are scratched on its stone segments. Monster screens showed D-Day veterans accumulated all the while at Britain's National Memorial of Operatum to watch the Normandy occasion distantly. Ruler Charles, talking through video connect, communicated lament that he was unable to go to face, to face. On June 6, 1944, in the core of the fog that wrapped the Normandy coast, was a lightning electrical discharge, French Defence Minister Florence Parley told the function. France doesn't neglect. France is everlastingly appreciated. Charles Shea, a Penobscot Native American who arrived as a U.S. Armed Force surgeon in 1944 and now calls Normandy home, was the lone enduring D-Day veteran at the Versailles service. He was additionally expected to be the solitary veteran partaking in a remembrance at the American commemoration graveyard later in the day. Most open occasions have been dropped, and the authority functions are restricted to few chose visitors and dignitaries. Dennis Van Cave Brink, a wee master working for the town of Caron, site of an essential fight close to Utah Beach, recognized the enormous misfortune. The huge non-attendance is every one of the veterans who couldn't travel. That truly harms us particularly on the grounds that they are throughout 95, 100 years of age, and we trust they're going to keep going forever. Yet, you know. He said. In any event we stay in a specific soul of celebration, which is the main, he revealed to the, Associated Press. Over the commemoration end of the week, numerous neighborhood inhabitants have come out to visit the landmarks denoting the critical snapshots of the battle and show their appreciation to the officers. French, World War II history devotees, and a couple of explorers from adjoining European nations, could likewise be found in jeeps and military vehicles on the little streets of, Normandy. A few reenactors came to Omaha Beach in the early hours of the day to honor the individuals who fell that day, bringing blossoms and American banners. On D-Day, 4,414 Allied soldiers lost their lives, 2,501 of them Americans. More than 5,000 were injured. On the German side, a few thousand were murdered or injured. Later on Sunday, another function will occur at the American burial 
ground in Colville sur Mer, on a fane administering Omaha Beach, to be communicated via online media. The graveyard contains 9,380 graves, the greater part of them for servicemen who lost their lives in the D-Day arrivals and following activities. Another 1,557 names are recorded on the walls of the missing. Normandy has in excess of 20 military graveyards holding generally Americans, Germans, French, British, Canadians and Polish soldiers who partook in the memorable fight. Dignitaries focused on the significance of keeping D-Day's heritage alive for people in the future. Despite the dangers of today, we should act together and show solidarity, Parley said, with the goal that the harmony